Hello, hello, hello. So I want to do the Fallout 4 load order for you. Now this is the load order. If you look back over the past few months and see our play through videos with Harry, these have been with him with this load order. This load order has not had any issues. I've not had any crashes. I don't have any big slowdowns downtown. Nothing like that. The biggest replacers in this is Vivid Fallout All-in-One and Boston Natural Surroundings and the Ghoul Replacers. That's really the biggest replacers I have. Everything else is fairly small. And you'll notice I still only have about 143 megabytes free. Everything seems to be working well. I've not had any crashes. Like I said, no big slowdowns. Um, all of this has been tested out and played with quite a bit. Um, let's see. I think I wanted... What did I want? Did I want to do a show on something? Is there something I have not done a show here? I think I wanted to review each of these revived settlements. But I may do all of them together. <clears throat> pardon me. I may do all of them together in one show. It's hard to say. But right now, I just wanted you to see this. This load order is probably going to go away in the next month or so because I want to do something different. Now, some of these are more core mods for me, and I'll keep them. I know some people have said they've had trouble getting visible weapons to work. And the reason is, is because you have to go through a little process and you have to follow their directions exactly and you have to make sure that what you're trying to make visible is something that's covered by the mods you have uh, it's I, I admit it's a bit of a pain i don't know why they ever took visible weapons out of the game but uh as we know fallout 4 is not quite as good a product as say new vegas you know um I really wish, if I had my druthers, I really wish they would give us a version of New Vegas and maybe even Fallout 3 that we could mod, as well as Fallout 4. But I would like to have a little more space for modding than 2 gig. 2 gig is hardly good enough. Um, Skyrim gives you at least 5 gig, and it's a much older game. But uh, I wouldn't mind seeing them do that with Oblivion either. But nonetheless... I would like to see that on the Xbox. You know, I know you can do it on PC. Anyway, the biggest mods here for the biggest atmospheric changes here are these. Vivid Fallout All-in-One, Boston Natural Surroundings, Calamity Weathers. Now, I did do the Visible Galaxy and the Moon, and these look good. And the Clean Water's cool. But other than that, the other biggest visual difference... Now, the Revive Settlements look nice, but these aren't really huge mods. But they're nice, and those settlements look good. But the other big replacer, now I do this for the girls, of course, but that's really not what I was referring to, is these by the fried turkey, the ghoul replacers. I think these ghouls look so much better. But I don't know if I will do this again in my next playthrough, just to try to change things up, okay? So just letting you know that ahead of time. Some of these things I'm going to keep because I really like them, and they're small. Some of these I'll probably keep because cricket... Cricket is just scary looking if you don't use this mod. I mean, really, really scary looking. <laughs> anyway, that's just my opinion. Nonetheless, you do you. Enjoy your game. I always say that's the most important thing. But these are the mods that I've been using. I've not had any trouble, no crashes. Again, this load order, if I have time, it is going to change in the next month or so. The same as the Skyrim load order that I mentioned when I did that video here earlier. I'm going to uh, do my best to change these load orders in the next month or so and start us, you know, looking at something new and something different and try some different mods out. It always encourages me to do some more shows, which not that I'm running out of things to do shows on, I'm not, but it encourages me to look around a little more and look at some other options and do some different things for us. So, all right. Okay, so that's our load order show for right now. Like I said, this is apt to change. But thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later.
By the gods, there is a psychopath on the loose. This has been an How That's March production. <laughs>